Save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile and get fiber-powered internet at home and unbeatable 5G reliability on the go. So whether you're playing a game at home, yes, cool, or attending one live, no! you can do more without spending more. Learn how to save at cox.com slash internet. Cox Internet is connected to the premises via coaxial cable. Cox Mobile runs on the network with unbeatable 5G reliability as measured by Ookla LLC in the U.S. to H 2023. Results may vary, not an endorsement. Other restrictions apply. Have you ever covered a carpet stain with a rug? Ignored a leaky faucet? Pretended your half-painted living room is supposed to look that way? Well, you're not alone. We've all got unfinished home projects. Whether it's a door that sticks or a disorganized closet or an AC unit that only works half the time, it all matters. You just haven't taken care of it yet. But there's an easier way. Just download the Thumbtack app. You can search for what you need done and find tons of highly rated pros right in your neighborhood. Check prices, reviews, and book a pro right on the spot. Plus, you'll know what to tackle next because Thumbtack is the app that shows you what to do, who to hire, and when. Pull out your phone and in just a few taps, say goodbye to all those unfinished home projects and say hello to caring for your home the easier way. Download Thumbtack and start a project today. Now with the MLB app, you can get baseball your way. Pick your favorite team, your favorite players, and get customized highlights, stories, and breaking news right on your home feed. Follow the action with Game Tip, where 3D replays add another dimension. Plus, notifications can keep you connected to every pitch, every hit, every game. The MLB app. Baseball, your way. Download it now for free from the App Store or Google Play. Blackout and other restrictions apply. Major League Baseball trade parts used with permission. We have Coach Bill Self. Bill, welcome. How hey, are Bob. you? I'm fine, man. Hey. Sorry, I was on a call. I could not get off. Of. I tried. But I my wife. I've my never wife been on a call. I could not get off. Wait. In, <laughs> <laughs> in fact, most people oh, are trying geez. to get off my calls, but oh well. Yeah. yeah. So I've, How you doing? I've been dying to ask you this <laughs> for a while now, uh, because college sports has obviously changed a lot <laughs> since I retired and it's changed a lot in the last two years um and you're you're playing the game as well as anybody right now in the transfer portal and i'm sure the nil thing is is flourishing at kansas uh but what do you think of all this change uh, are you are you good with it or have you just resigned yourself to it what, how, what's your thoughts i think uh, uh i think the my my correct response would be i probably resigned myself to it I do think this, as as screwed up as it is, <clears throat> I do think it will balance out over time, and the appearance of how screwed up it is will subside uh, 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 quite a bit, and we'll get back to some normalcy and and what we view as the new normal, you know, in the next you know two to four years, whatever it is. But the world we're living in now. I mean, we don't know how how the, you know that antitrust suit and everything will impact college athletes, athletics in general. I mean, how does that impact everyone? I mean, there's there's some things going on that that's actually much bigger than uh, uh, how do you raise money for a football or basketball program at NIL so you can go out and get the best team you possibly can. There's some major things above that will have some trickle down effect to how we actually view what we're doing next. And, and, and uh, certainly right now we're just kind of putting a bandaid on everything. Uh, but I do think it'll balance out. I, I actually don't mind the change. Uh, I think uh, not always change is good, but change is inevitable. And so there's absolutely no reason to continue to bitch and moan about change because it is the new normal, uh, uh, and and it will balance out, and and we'll all feel better about it. But right now, everybody's just so uncomfortable because we don't really, we think we understand it, but we really don't yet. And and uh, the uncertainty is driving everybody nuts. So you said at the end of this past season that you were thinking about uh, the upcoming season and. 
I would say this if you weren't here. I thought it was extremely unfair how that was spun by a lot of people in the media as if you weren't also thinking about the current season. So what what did you think of of the fallout from that? And how far ahead do you have to look in today's uh, landscape for fear of potentially falling behind? Well, for the first of all, I did not have any feelings of of uh, uh, negativity uh, that I had said something inappropriate from the fallout of that because anybody that runs any business, you look at today and you're also always looking till tomorrow. I'm looking at next year's uh, basketball team now as I'm preparing for this upcoming year's team. I'm looking at the year after right now. So, okay, so if we take this freshman – here that means we know we got him for two he could be here for three or four is that better taking the kid from so-and-so that's a grad transfer we, we, we do that all the time anybody that thinks that that doesn't happen doesn't understand you know ball or sports or recruiting so so the statement I made I had been thinking about next year's team with what we have with what we're going to lose and what we did this year that wasn't as good and how do we make sure that doesn't happen in the future Absolutely. So, so uh, if that was said, uh, or if that was taken uh, 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 in a way that that made people think I wasn't thinking about this year's team, obviously, you know, they they, they the context of that was way out of proportion. I, I think about what's happening uh, 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 next year all the time during uh, uh, a season. And that doesn't mean in any way, shape, or form I'm compromising that season uh, uh, at all. But I will tell you this. There were some things that happened last year that I think we need to make sure that we avoid moving forward. And, you know, with the NCAA, with taking the three scholarships away and all those things, Bob, you have to be thinking about how it's going to impact you in the future and that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I, I, I said that, and that's exactly what I meant, and I, you know, I stand by that. Coach, how much different is it for you now compared to 10 years ago when you're looking at high school kids and looking at these freshmen that you're going to bring in that you're planning to have for a couple, three, four years, and now it seems like everybody's just going to the portal because you can find guys that are seasoned, and I, I understand that. But it, do you like the way it is now? Do you prefer the way it was? Do you miss things about that? Or, or how is it from a coach, especially at somebody at the University of Kansas? I, I actually think uh, the days of our fan base watching kids grow up in front of your eyes, I think are going to be minimal. And I think that's one of the great things about coaching is the development that, that occurs between the ages of 18 and 22, let's say. And also that's one of the great things about fans, in my opinion, Bob, is, is – is, uh, uh, fans watching kids grow, watching Devontae grow up right before their eyes or whoever it is. Now the way it works and the way the rules are set up, which is fine, it's just different in that that's not going to happen as much because the kids that are good enough to leave early, they're going to leave. And the kids that aren't good enough to leave early, they probably won't be patient enough to stick around, uh, especially if their role – and maybe the money isn't exactly of what they could get somewhere else. And so, uh, yeah, I, you know, it used to be, Bob, kids stuck around in large part maybe because they liked the school, they liked the development, they liked the opportunities that they saw moving forward. But also if you left, you had to sit out a year. Now with the new rules that makes it easy, regardless if you're a two-time or three-time or or four-time transfer, you're going to be eligible at the next place immediately. So, so if it doesn't go really well at the place you're at, uh, why wouldn't you just look to go somewhere else? And and or if it looks hard, or if you recruit a kid underneath you that could possibly beat you out uh, reputationally, he, they think he's going to be really, really good. Uh, but if you left, you had to set a year. Now it's like, well, I can. I'm not even going to risk it. I'll just go somewhere else, and so uh, uh, because I'm eligible immediately, that's the that's the difference. And and uh, so I actually prefer that part the way it used to be. But I also will tell you this: if you need to get well quick, 
it's a lot easier to get well fast now than it was a couple of years ago. Bill Self, our guest, and that appears to be what you've done in the transfer portal this year. Of course, we got to see it all play out on the court, but all the people who follow this sub stuff closely are giving you great kudos for the players you brought in out of the transfer portal. Uh, I know depth was uh, was an issue for your team last season, and then when injuries happened, it just uh, it really caused problems. So when you look at your roster for this year, how do you feel about it? Uh, I think it's a, I think on paper, Bob, it looks pretty good. You know, you, you return three vets and, 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 and Juan and KJ and Hunt. And then, you know, El Marco's going to be a really good player. Uh, you know, he didn't have the best freshman year, maybe what expectations were set out to be, but he's going to be a terrific player. Uh, uh, you know, Zach Clemens set out last year, uh, which hindsight being 20, I 20, I wish that wouldn't have happened, but that was the arrangement that we had uh, with Zach, uh, uh, which we're, we're glad now he did set out last year. Uh, he's going to be a good player. Uh, Jamari McDowell is going to be a nice uh, 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 piece for us. There's no doubt about that. So you, you throw, you, you have that core group and you throw in Rocky's past more freshman that, He's good. I mean, he's gonna be he's gonna be a nice piece. Uh, uh, and then you have Ryland Griffin and Zeke Mayo, and of course AJ Store. You know that 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 that's a pretty good core. Uh, I'd like to get one more guy, to be honest with you. Uh, and then of course Johnny, I we anticipate him staying in, but of course he has the option to come back too. So I think I think we got a chance to to address what we didn't do really well last year, for the most part. Uh, Add some depth. You know, I'd, li- I'd like to have a team that you feel comfortable with that, you know, we can put eight guys out there, and they're all good enough to be starters for Kansas, even though you're not going to have, you know, eight starters. But I go back to our best best teams. You know, go you go back in 08 when we won it, and, heck, you got Cole Aldridge and Sharon Collins off the bench. You know, two pros. Uh, uh, I would like for us to get back to that point, and, and hopefully we can. You know, I don't know that we're there yet, but but uh, I think we're well ahead of where we was last year. So uh, last year, I'm just using this kind of as an example, but uh, last year you were in the video uh, where Hunter Dickinson announced he was going to Kansas. This year, that was that kind of all played out on Twitter. You tweeted at him. He announced again that he was returning to Kansas. I'm just curious what you think about that hasn't, the social media thing has evolved longer than the last couple of years, but you know, kind of everything is documented now. Uh, what do you think about all that, this age of social media? And have you ever thought about increasing your own social media presence at all? Uh, you know, uh, they've tried to get me to increase my social media presence and, and I'll be candid with you. I just haven't been interested in doing that. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, it, it, it's just not anything uh, that that I think would add that much value to what we're doing as far as us winning basketball games. But but uh, uh, now could it add value from you know fan engagement and certainly the number of clicks you get, which I I guess over time could be something positive. But I just haven't really felt that way. I, I I'm kind of an old school uh, guy from that perspective. Last year when, when uh, I went up to see Hunter, I had no idea what was going on. I mean, he caught me yeah. off guard. And this year when, when, when uh, 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 I, he, I asked him, you know, I didn't plan on doing much, but I asked him, uh, hey, Hunt, I mean, God dang, what, what, what do you need to do? Or when are you going to tell me you're coming back? And he, you know, his response, why don't you tweet at me that? And uh, I'll let everybody know. So that told me he was coming back uh, more than likely. So that's what I that's what I did just to kind of play along. But but uh, I'm not big on the social media stuff, and certainly don't follow really anyone or really know what's going on. I got guys on my staff that do a better job with that with me. But but uh, that's something that that I, that I know I can get better at. It's just not been anything that's really really intrigued me. Uh, that much i i feel like i want to stay away from uh uh, being in the headlines every day as opposed to trying to be you know 
You're not you're not missing anything, Coach. I'll I'll tell you that from experience. Bill Self, the you, final you, moments yeah, here. Yeah, I, I do want to ask you about. Go ahead. Oh, I was I was just going to say, you know, at some places I think I think your presence in that area is more important, kind of where you're at. And if I was at a place that I needed attention and stuff like that, then I would say I probably have more of a presence. But but here, uh, uh, seems like to me, I we get enough attention the way it is. So it's 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 <laughs> people are talking about us regardless. I don't feel like that I have to keep adding to it every day. I I would agree. So before we let you go, I want to ask you about this uh, Big Twelve and the expansion and course losing Oklahoma and Texas but gaining four schools out of the Pac-12 on top of what was gained last year and and Houston being so good and this conference in in men's basketball is just off the chart Uh, you won so many Big 12 titles in a row earlier in your career you're certainly more likely to win more but man what a dogfight it's going to be now right yeah it's it's different you know I I think that uh, you know we we won a you know we won our fair share uh, there for a pretty long stretch. I guess 17 out of 20 years, the last 20 years, uh, uh, you know we've we've actually won it. Uh, uh, and you know even though it hasn't been as smooth lately, uh, I think we've won it three of the last five or something like that. But we went through a stretch where we were pretty much running it back to back to back and and. Uh, I guess for 14 straight years and the league then for many of those years was still considered to be the, as the best or as good as any basketball mm-hmm. league in the country. And now I feel like it's just on steroids. You know, next year I was, I was on with Andy Katz a little bit earlier today. Next year, you could make a case that in the preseason top five, it won't work out this way, but you could make a case. Iowa state's going to be in there. They return four starters off a two seed. You could make a case Houston will be in there. Houston returns four starters and a kid that tore his his Achilles last year will be back. You could make a case for uh, Baylor. You know, Baylor's signing Roach and and, and the guys they got coming back uh, uh, that they could be a preseason top five team. You could make a case for Kansas. And that didn't include Arizona. Uh, Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, and, and, and I'm not even including everybody. So in my mind, you know, losing Texas and Oklahoma, obviously, because fans are familiar with it. I don't think that was something that the league wanted to do uh, whenever they initially announced that they were leaving by any stretch. But from a basketball perspective, I actually think that we've done pretty good. And, and, and I think our league will be as strong or stronger than it was this past year. And this past year, it was, it was thought to be the, the very best. And I certainly see the same thing moving forward. Bill, it's good to catch up. Good talking with you. We'll uh, follow the progress of the Jayhawks. And thanks for coming on our show. Okay, Bob. Take care, man. Save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile. And get fiber-powered Internet at home and unbeatable 5G reliability on the go. So whether you're playing a game at home or attending one live, you can do more without spending more. Learn how to save at cox.com slash internet. Cox Internet is connected to the premises via coaxial cable. Cox Mobile runs on the network with unbeatable 5G reliability as measured by Ookla LLC in the U.S. to H 2023. Results may vary, not an endorsement. Other restrictions apply. Everybody knows it. Toyota trucks are the stuff of legends. Rugged, durable, everlasting. Toyota makes trucks that just don't quit. And now, Toyota is driving that legacy toward the future with two of their most powerful trucks ever, the new Tundra and the all-new Tacoma. In a half-ton Tundra, you can rule the roads. From the comfort of a spacious cabin with connected tech and plenty of hauling power, the Tundra is ready to work hard and play even harder. Or check out the all-new 24 Tacoma, redesigned and electrified to maximize your adventure. With a bevy of available off-road driving and power transfer modes, you will effortlessly crush the conditions. And with the Tacoma's reimagined interior, you'll do it in style. And right now, your local Toyota dealer has more vehicles in stock and is making delivery on new vehicles almost every day. So don't wait. Buy a Tundra or Tacoma today. Visit buyatoyota.com for deals and more. Toyota, let's go places. Baseball is back. 
and so is MLB.tv. Watch every out-of-market, regular season game on your favorite streaming devices. Anywhere, anytime, all season long. Follow the action live or on demand. Track four games at once with multi-view mode. And catch up with in-game highlights. Plus, original programs, minor league broadcasts, and local pre- and post-game shows. Go to MLB.tv to start your free trial today. Blackout and other restrictions apply. Major League Baseball trademarks used with permission.